Welcome brothers and sisters. In today's experiment, I'm gonna build a simple silver cell using less than 10 grams of pure silver. So I've set up this test to see if I can use half as much nitric acid to dissolve about a kilo of sterling silver. I usually use one liter of nitric to dissolve one kilo of sterling silver. And if this test works as I think it should, I'll only use 500 milliliters instead of a full liter, half as much nitric acid to dissolve one kilo of sterling. So sharpen your pencils and let's get started. All right, so here I've weighed out 500 grams of sterling silver. Total weight of all the sterling we're gonna dissolve is 954.4 grams. 500 in this beaker and 454.40 in this beaker. And we'll bring that over into the flow hood and we'll dissolve it with nitric acid. All right, so we have 500 grams of sterling. So I'm gonna start by adding about one gallon of water. You know, just enough water so everything's covered. And because there's 500 grams of sterling, I'm gonna measure out 500 milliliters of 67% nitric acid. Make sure the addition funnel is off and we're going to add this nitric acid to an addition funnel. That way I can set this up and I can walk away. And when this 500 milliliters runs all the way through, we should be pretty close to having all of our silver completely dissolved. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the hot plate and turn it up to 250 degrees Celsius. And we'll go ahead and start our drip. About one drip every second is where I have it set. So almost all the sterling's dissolved now and there's just a little bit of metal down in the bottom here and then there's also some debris that we burned off of those pieces that we're going to start to filter out now. Here I've filtered about a liter of the silver nitrate solution that we dissolved uh, 500 grams of this sterling material with 500 milliliters of nitric acid. I filtered out a liter of this. I'm going to measure out about 300 milliliters of silver nitrate solution and pour it into this evaporating dish. And now using distilled water, I'm gonna dilute that with another 100 milliliters of distilled water. 
The range you're looking for is between 75 and 150 grams of dissolved silver per liter of electrolyte solution. So now for my electrodes, I have pure silver for my cathode, which is connected to the negative port on the DC power supply. And the positive, which is my anode, I have a piece of this sterling that I've just bent over a couple times and uh, I pounded it flat and just kind of bent it into this shape here. So now we'll go ahead and turn this on. I'm at 3.5 volts and this has a constant current, so it will actually find its own equilibrium. So we're sending 3.5 volts to the anode, and we're receiving 0.9899 amps at the cathode. The reaction that's taking place here is the Stirling anode is dissolving into solution. At the cathode, pure silver is going to plate out. This piece should just get thicker, full of pure silver. While this piece, the anode, will dissolve into solution, the copper staying in solution and only the pure silver plating out on the cathode. That way we can, if this test is successful, we'll run a larger experiment right in this main beaker so I'll let this run for a little while and then we'll come back and see what the results are. So here we are after about 30 minutes of running and you can see pure silver forming at the cathode and falling off of the cathode and also working its way towards the anode. At the anode we're getting some debris that's falling off that is just some metal that didn't fully dissolve into the silver nitrate and it kind of just falls off. And that's the main reason why we have the aspirator bottle in the see-through silver cell is to keep these two solids away from one another. But the goal for this experiment is to see if we can process the same amount of silver, one kilo of silver that usually uses one liter of nitric acid with only 500 milliliters of nitric acid. All right, I'd say that's a successful test. So I'm gonna go ahead and filter the rest of this silver nitrate solution and we'll run the main test. So I just about have all the electrolyte filtered and here's what the anode looks like. And the pure silver cathode. So for now, I'm just gonna filter this back in with my electrolyte and keep these all of the solids back here in the undissolved. So we'll see how much nitric acid it will take at the end to get everything fully dissolved. Then when this is done filtering, I'll rinse the solids from that filter paper over here into this undissolved beaker. All right, so everything's ready to go. Now to keep those two substances separated from one another, the sterling and the pure silver, we're gonna use the aspirator bottle. For my cathode, I'm gonna use the same pure silver bar that we used in the test but the cathode will go inside the aspirator bottle, which will generate all of our pure silver and it will stay inside the aspirator bottle that has a Dacron filter on the outlet port. We'll fill both of these up with the electrolyte. And for our cathode, we'll just put the sterling right into the solution. For the connection, I used pure silver and Teflon tape and just wrapped this piece where it will dissolve and I'll just continue to repeat this process by just attaching it 
by wrapping some of the silver around the post and securing it with Teflon tape. All right, now we still need to dilute this uh, electrolyte. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the aspirator bottle up, but leave room for about 250 milliliters of distilled water. The reason for doing this is so the aspirator bottle doesn't float while we fill up the main portion of the main beaker. Now I'll add about 250 milliliters of distilled water to the aspirator. And about a liter to the main beaker. And I'm going to go a little under because the higher concentration of silver in your electrolyte creates a better connectivity and the process works a little faster. So this will go in the main beaker. And then we'll just top both of these off with the rest of this solution. And it will start off by using our pure silver cathode and we'll insert that into the aspirator bottle. I'm going to remove just a little bit of the electrolyte that's inside of here just to make sure that level is below that alligator clip so we don't dissolve it. And next, for the anode, I've bent over a little piece of pure silver and attached sterling, so it'll just clip right on to the edge of the beaker here. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this up as high as I can to cover as much of that as possible. All right, well that worked good. So that only took about 20 minutes to go through the whole first piece. There's a little bit of sterling debris on the bottom and inside of the aspirator bottle looks to be just our pure silver. So I'm gonna hook up another piece and we'll run our second one. So here now I'm gonna try a little larger piece. <laughs> 